Hey guys, Channel Lego Moore here for another Lego Ninjago movie 2018 set review. Set number is 70629. This is the Piranha Attack. It has four minifigures, 217 pieces, and it retails for $20 here in the United States. Picked this up in my Toys R Us. So here's the box of the set. You can see it has a nice little design to it. And then you also have the instruction manual, which is two numbered bags and also advertisements for the other. Ninjago movie sets of this wave, which of course I already reviewed this one and this one I'm currently reviewing. Still trying to find those two. Alright, so let's take a look at our minifigures and we'll start off with our ninja of the set, Kai. And I kind of wish they went with Jay, Nia, or Cole because they're the rarer of the ninja. Kai is one of the most common. Still a great minifigure though. Um, does have that nice hair piece. There's the alternate face on him. And he has a scabbard and got a metal gray with his swords. And then if you remove the scabbard, you can also see the printing on the back of his torso. So there is Kai himself. Good old Kai. So, yeah, kind of like I said, great minifigure, but I just wish they went with another one, you know, because we always get Kai. And then we have our Lady Iron Dragon herself, Miss Sako, or Coco. And again, just like I reviewed in the Quake mech, the face isn't really that good because it's on the black headpiece. But again, the hairpiece and helmet look fantastic. There's her printing and that nice quiver, which you can see the nice design on that. And also the printing on the back of her torso looks fantastic too. So yeah, very of course, the disappointment is the face, but what can you do? I think it's alright, it's not the best looking thing, but kind of wish they were a little better with that. Then we have our civilian, this is Ray. Of course it's spelled R-A-Y instead of R-E-Y. Now R-E-Y is Kai's father in the show. So again, that straw hat of his. His torso print is exclusive. And then we have our Shark Army Thug here. He only has one face. There's the background of the torso, and there's you can see a better look at the thug. So let's take a look at our build. So first off, we have our little Ricochet build, which is pretty cool. I like how they use a red car front, and it is decorated with stickers, you can see. There's the two lanterns on each side, which can be moved. You got these nice big wheels and tan dark tan or like a darkish orange brown and I like that you can carry a minifigure right in there so we'll put Kai you know we'll, we'll just make Kai ride it it's just gonna be fun so we'll put Kai although he's gonna be a little hard with the scabbard actually so you can of course have Ray carry the thing you can hold on to it and run away from the thug so you can see looks like a nice little build very snot like build stuff's on top for the top and then of course you can just pull it down to put a minifigure in there good little uh, wheels like I said and then moving on we have the piranha mech itself and this thing looks awesome I love the design of it you can position the legs in any way, which is cool. I like that you can even turn them around, gives it a lot more personality. You can even pose the flick missile, which you can just fire off as such. You also have the spikes there, and you can just see all the sticker detailing on here, which there's a good amount of stickers on the Piranha itself. And you can see there's the eyes on there, and then it has the asymmetry with the teeth which I like I think that looks cool um, you have a little periscope up on top there's a, a 16 which is a sticker there's that logo which is really cool that's a sticker another thing too is that this is actually like a boat hull, boat hull pe hole piece which is in this set and only in sand blue and you can lift this up and you can see the number 16 which are stickers this little control panel which has that nice uh, printed piece from the movie sets and we can put our Shark Army Thug right into 
the position, he can put him right in there. Once you get him right in, you can try to move his arms a bit. There we go. So get him right in there. Come on. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. It took a bit. And you can pilot the piranha now. And you can close it on him if you want. So he can stay hidden or you can leave it open a bit so you can see the minifigure in there like on the box. And again, you can just see like the little screen he can see from there. And again, just a wacky design, but a great addition to your shark army for the Lego Ninjago movie set. So overall, $20 set. I think it's a good deal for what you get. Um, although I will say the Ninjago City Chase is a little better because you get five minifigures for $20, um, which um, that's a good set. It has more of a place at that design. I like the fact that we get a cheap... Uh, a cheap vehicle for the shark army which is great because you know that's actually cheaper than the jellyfish sub and then the the flying jelly sub and then the manta ray bomber so i'm really glad we got more variety for the um vehicles for the bad guys which i like the little caravan like um ricochet is really cool too or ricochet um and i like the minifigures of course uh misako is a very cool figure even though the face prints a little you know, not the greatest, um, and because of the black print, like the printing on the black head. Um, but Kai is a cool figure, but come on, I want another figure other than Kai, because Kai is like one of the most common minifigures. But again, the Shark Army Thug can't get enough of them. Um, you can always, you, you can never have enough of them, because they're always in large quantities. And the Piranha build is really cool. Again, just a great design. That I really enjoyed. So I do recommend it in some aspects. It's a really good set regardless. Um, I really like the Piranha build. The minifigures are good too, even though I kind of wish we had another Ninja rather than Kai. So yeah, let me guys know what you think about this set down below in the comments, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.